Well, in Berlin, a group of people have come out and recognized that uh, war crimes have been done against Palestine, amounting to genocide, and they decided to object, first of all, to Israel's continuous aggression against uh, Palestinians, but also uh, they wanted to object to Germany's unconditional support of Israel, even as it commits uh, genocide. Um, the, the Solidarity Movement was mostly uh, people who were politically active, uh, but it unfortunately did not at first encompass the usual suspects, the people we thought were progressive, like uh, the climate change movement, like uh, at the start, the LGBTQ, they were not on board. Uh, although they were the quickest to uh, join the movement and put their bodies on the line after that there was a very quickly um, um, a, a queer uh, march and that was extremely brave not with the same kind of turnout that you would find with uh, gay pride <laughs> nowhere close we had a cross-section from all the progressive movements in some ways and they were split uh, you'd have the same kind of splits over the climate like for example fridays for future completely distanced themselves from Palestine. But that doesn't mean that people from the climate movement did not also join the solidarity with Palestine movement. A lot of them did. But what I'm saying is that these progressive movements alone could not fully account or fully take the side of anti-genocide. The community has been built over time uh, and there is some sort of community and it has lasted and it is very resilient but you have to realize that in the face of continuous lies in you know non-stop lies from german media from german politicians from the the police people cannot fight this mainstream indoctrination that they're facing. And so the movement is not as big as it would have been. It's being fought tooth and nail by the German state uh, at the price of its own institutions, liberties and laws. Now there are many ways in which the media lies. For example, they always lie about numbers. They always misinterpret uh, certain slogans. So they kind of defame the intent of why it's being said and report uh, without any really journalistic integrity. We see a lot of reports from uh, journalists about assaults against them, which are not assaults. People do not want their stories told or completely derailed and uh, misrepresented by certain journalists who keep showing up every time to these protests but have nothing to account for in terms of reporting. There is no reporting on what they see, only defamation and lies. One of the things completely underreported by German media is the consistent presence of Jewish people against genocide in almost every protest. And no one ever reports on that because that would completely destroy their uh, depiction of the movement as being anti-Semitic. And they would rather, the Germans uh, would rather judge who's a good Jew and bad Jew uh, and defame Jewish people by accusing them of anti-Semitism rather than acknowledge their presence or listen to what they have to say. And we see police repression happening in several ways. One of them is if someone um, chants something that they don't like, um, instead of approaching them and arresting them and citing them, uh, they actually pass judgment and um, exercise a physical assault that is punitive. And uh, you could see that uh, this is kind of like, it's not meant for an arrest for when a judge decides, but the policeman actually decides, is judge and jury and says, well, if you say this, we're gonna punch you, beat you, and we've seen a lot of these incidents happen. At the moment, Germany is not operating on democratic principles. 
they do not protect minorities, they, uh, not all citizens have equal rights. A recent study showed that the police were systematically acting in a racist manner rather than using police laws. The best thing about the solidarity movement is that humanity is at its center, that people care about each other and care about the lives that are being destroyed in Palestine. Uh, they're, they have a moral compass which is inspiring and beautiful in the face of repression. I think this movement is the one thing that sets Germany apart from the 1930s. In the 1930s, there was not such a strong resistance to fascism. But now with the presence of all of these people, their voices are being made clear that they reject genocide, they reject racism, they reject fascism, and they reject the hypocrisy. Because hypocrisy and lies is how you build a fascist state. Because some people have more rights than others. Whether this movement will succeed in convincing the German public that never again means never again for anyone is something that we still have to see.